morning, everyone. Welcome to my closet. Uh, I'm going to pick out our tie, then our shirt, then our suit, and then our accessories. And I'm kind of feeling blue today. I actually already see the tie I think I want to wear, but I'm going to spin it just to make sure. What I like to do is see what tie says, wear me today. I want to be worn today. And I'm in a blue mood today. And I'm pretty sure, yep, that's what I want right there. I'm going to wear this Louis Vuitton. It's a Louis Vuitton. It's got there, it's their classic checkerboard pattern. And that's about where the tie rack was when I came in. And that one was just jumping out at me. Now, the problem with this color of a blue is when you go to match this with a shirt, it blends in really good with these shirts. So one thing you could do is you could go with like a very similar blue color, like this, for example. Let me pull this off the rack here. And just let this texture of the tie speak so it all blends in. That's definitely an option. But I'm thinking what I want to do, sorry about the camera work, I'm holding it while I'm working. I think what I want to do is really bring this tie out. It's such a beautiful classic tie. So I think I'm going to go with just a white shirt. And this is actually a brand new shirt I haven't had a chance to wear yet. I've been looking for an opportunity to wear it. It's an Eaton, and I just got this at Neiman maybe a month ago, but I had to have it fitted to me. So uh, all the alterations are done. It's not been worn yet. It still has the tags on it. But I like, it's a textured white shirt. It has a lot of texture to it. And I'm, I'm really liking this blue on that white because it just brings that blue out. So that's the way we're going to go. And if we're going to go with a white shirt and a light blue tie, then I definitely want to go darker suit. Now, normally at this point, I'm going to take the shirt and tie and put it alongside my suits, but I already know I want a dark suit, so my options are I can go with like a, a really deep gray, a charcoal gray, um, a black with pinstripes. It's really a charcoal gray, but it's kind of a black. I can go navy or charcoal, and I'm thinking navy because I think that'll give us a great color pop. We'll go navy suit, so let me uh, put this, let me put the suit up here, take the shirt off. Give me a second, guys. Doing all this with one hand because I've got the suit. So here's kind of what I'm leaning towards is this navy suit. Yeah, I really like that. Navy suit, white shirt, light blue tie. I think that's going to be a great color combination. So now we turn to shoes. The next thing I pick are shoes. And obviously with the navy suit, we can go black, black, dark brown, light brown. I don't want to go casual. These are, I love these Christian Louboutins here, but uh, they're not for a suit in my opinion. I uh, could get by with it, but I'm um, not going to go that route. Um, normally with the navy, I would go with like a lighter blue, but I think I'm going to go with these dark shoes because the shirt is so bright. So this is a pair of Oxfords by Bally. And yeah, I'm really liking that. See how they're dark, but it gives us a good contrast with all that white we're wearing, all that brightness. So we're going to go that route. And when we look over here at our belts, uh, for dark brown, I really only have one option for a really dark brown. I probably need to buy some more belts. It's this Ferragamo. It's reversible. It's a really dark brown. It uh, matches these shoes really well. Or uh, black, it's reversible. So we're going to go with the dark brown version of that. So that's going to be our look right there. We're going to go navy suit, white shirt, light blue tie, dark brown shoes, dark brown belt. As far as a watch goes, um, plenty of options here with watches when we're going navy. We can always go with a, you know, a two-tone. There's three two-tones here. Um, I'm going to probably go back to this Grayton. I wear this a lot with these shoes because it has a really dark strap and it has a blue face on it. So that will help bring out. So we're going to go, just put it down here. That's the look we're going to go with right there. So we'll come back in just a few minutes and I will put the suit on and I'll let you watch me tie the tie. We'll put the whole thing together. Hey guys, welcome back. Got my uh, shirt on, got my pants on, ready to tie this tie up. So I'm just going to tie it quickly here in front of you so you can see the whole outfit come together. If you do need help tying your tie, look at my other videos. I actually have tutorials uh, where I go step by step exactly how to tie the perfect double Windsor or full Windsor, depending on your terminology. That's, uh, I just call it a Windsor knot, but some people call it a double Windsor. So just going through the motions right now so you can see the whole outfit come together. We're going to make this look nice. This beautiful Louis Vuitton tie. And you know what? Tie it just a little bit long. So let's retie this real quick. Um, tie that just a tiny bit too long. I like it. Uh, I like my ties to be absolutely perfect as far as length goes. I like the knot to be a perfect triangle. So apologize for that, guys. I do all this in front of the camera. I don't have a mirror here in front of me. So I'm looking at this little teeny tiny LCD screen on the side of my camera to um, see what I'm doing. 
but we'll get it right here. I like it to look right. And it's a gorgeous tie, though. Louis Vuitton, um, you know, you're paying for the name. You know, they do make good product. Yeah, it's perfect. But, um, boy, they make good-looking ties. Quality-wise, I'd put them below a Zenia or something like that. But uh, looks-wise, I mean, they are sharp. This, this is their checkerboard pattern, and they just take this checkerboard pattern and turn it just freaking gorgeous tie, absolutely gorgeous tie. Okay, um, so we've got the tie together. Um, we've got the tie on. Let's put the uh, suit coat on. And I haven't put my watch on yet. Let me do it real quick. It's an automatic watch, so I didn't have it on my winder, so I'm actually going to have to set the, wa the, the watch. But uh, I'm just going to put it on so you can see how it looks, so how everything comes together. On my Instagram, though, uh, tie guy James Akers, you'll see uh, close-ups of everything, including the watch. You'll see the whole outfit staged, and uh, hopefully that helps you there. There we go. Got the watch on. So now I've got the whole outfit on. It's a Zinnia suit, an Eaton shirt, a Louis Vuitton tie. Uh, Ferragamo belt, Bally shoes, and it's a Grayton uh, automatic watch. And this looks really good, guys. Love it. I am ready for work.